Hello, I'm Peter Walker, Engineering Manager for the Canal and River Trust. Today I'm on site at Lock 12 on the Aylesbury arm of the Grand Union Canal in Buckinghamshire near Aston Clinton, where we've had quite a significant collapse of one of our lock walls. This lock is over 200 years old and one of about 1,600 that we look after on our canal system. Uh, failures of this type are extremely rare. Um, I've been here for 10 years and my colleagues, I know colleagues that have been here for considerably longer, and no one has ever seen a lock wall collapse in this way. So it's a real challenge for us uh, to investigate the problem and get it reopened. In the next couple of weeks we're going to start our emergency investigation works and the first thing we'll be doing is diverting the flow of water which currently runs through the lock. The upper gates are designed to act as a weir and we're going to send the water around the far side of the lock so that we can keep the lower end of the, uh, the Aylesbury Arm and the basin area topped up with water. The next phase will be to install temporary dams upstream and downstream of the lock chamber. This will allow us to drain it of water which will help us to get our heavy equipment in to start carefully taking down the stretch of wall that's collapsed. We're working as quickly as we can to get the canal and lock back open again for the end of August this year. Obviously looking at the scale of this project it's going to run to several hundred thousand pounds. We're a charitable organisation and don't have unlimited funds unfortunately. If anyone would like to donate any money towards the cost of repairing this lock and the other work that the Canal and River Trust does, we'd be very grateful and you can find further details of how to do this on our website at www.canalrivertrust.org.uk. Thank you.